Good morning guys, it's Andrea with the Codex Club. Welcome to my channel and this daily Streams in the Desert devotional project that I've been doing. Um, I just celebrated my birthday this weekend and it was kind of crazy so I have some um, days to catch up on. Today I'll be doing June 10th, which was my birthday, June 11th, which was Sunday, and then today, June 12th, which is in this year, um, a Monday. <laughs> ah, hi, Pen Pen. Hi. Look at you, cutie. I can't believe ah. that in just a few days yeah. or weeks, really days, yeah. Pen is going to be a year old. Yeah. The time has really flown. I've been seeing just like all these memories of when it was this time last year and Penny was still in my tummy. And for my birthday, we'd gone to um, Chocolate World in um, Hershey Park. And, you know, I'm wearing this dress and you can see the belly and it's just like so sweet and so crazy that like, <laughs> just like two to three weeks later, um, Penny was born. Um, and now she's like trying to walk. She's just growing bigger every day and like impressing me all the time. Um, anyway, sorry for that digression, but that is why I am late posting and Penny Hughes gonna help me. Um, there's a mommy duck here and a, one duck just like your sister and then another duck like you. Um, that's right. Aww. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I'm so glad that I can do this with you guys. Um, it just seems like that time in the summer where I start to think about, you know, it's technically when people usually go on vacations or go on, you know, trips. But for me, it's like a time to goal set. The beginning of the year and then like halfway through the year is kind of when I'm like, well, you know, is this what I really want? Like, have I decided that this is the life that like, is gonna make me feel really at peace by the time Christmas rolls around. <clears throat> and so far, yes, on track. Um, I just feel really content and happy with where I am right now. Um, but I also uh, just wanna remind you, there was um, a passage from my last video where it said, um, sorrow may come tomorrow, but I'll borrow yeah. none today. And I just Ma. love that so much. Ma. Um, one of my chickens got hurt. And I was really heartbroken ah. on Saturday, like the shoulder, like the bone was out. It was just like a horrific sight to walk out to <laughs> in the morning when you're, you know, trying to just like get energy for the day, but, you know, like my intention for these videos too. And then to see a poor, helpless, hurt animal who you're responsible for is just the worst feeling. So um, being able to seek advice from those who have had chickens. Um, we had a family member who had had like 11 chickens and lived close close by to where they could come and show me how to do a sling, put antibiotic ointment on. I was just so grateful, um, but I kept worrying. I kept telling um, the woman like, you know, what if, what if she, he, you know, the chicken doesn't get better? What if we have to put it down? What if the vet bill's so expensive and then, you know, the animal passes away anyway? She said, you know what, Andrew, don't worry about all these things. The likelihood is that the simplest answer is what it's going to be. And all these other things could happen. But why, um, you know, go through it now when it hasn't, you know, in your mind. And that really calmed me. It was just such a relaxing thing to just let go of. And I immediately thought, oh, my God, I just reflected on this. And that is why maybe I need these <laughs> videos this year in a way that like I didn't even realize <clears throat> to just help me because that was the first day that I hadn't done my morning video. <clears throat> just help me put things in perspective. So with that said, I'm going to get into it. June 10th, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Romans 8.28. Nope, don't eat that, honey. How wide is this assertion of the Apostle Paul? He does not say we know that some things, or most things, or joyous yeah. things, but all things. From the minutest to the most monumentous, from the humblest event in daily providence to the great crisis hours in faith. 
in grace. And all things, quote, work. They're working. Not all things have worked or shall work, but it is a present option. Are working. Um, at this very moment, no pen pen. When some, this is what Rifa made the other day. Isn't that pretty? Um, at this very moment, when some voice may be saying, thy judgments are a great deep, the angels above who are watching the development of the great plan are with folded wings exclaiming, the Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. Psalms 145, 17. And then all things quote, work together. It is a beautiful blending. Many different colors in themselves, raw and unsightly, are required in order to weave the harmonious pattern. Many separate notes and tones of music, even discords and dissonance are required to make up the harmonious anthem. Good job, honey. Um, many separate wheels and joints are required to make the piece of machinery. Take a thread separately or a note separately or a wheel or a tooth of a wheel separately and there may be neither use nor beauty discernible. But complete the web. Combine the notes, put together the separate parts of steel and iron, and you see how perfect and symmetrical is the result. Here is the lesson for faith. What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Macduff. In 1,000 trials, it is not 500 of them that work for the believer's good, but 999 of them. And one beside, George Mueller. And then there's a quote in bold, God meant it unto good, Genesis 50, 20. And then there's a poem, God meant it unto good, O blessed assurance, falling like sunshine across life's way, touching with heaven's golden er gold earth's darkest storm clouds, bringing fresh peace and comfort day by day. T'was not by chance the hands of faithless brethren sold Joseph captive to a foreign land, nor was it chance which after years of suffering brought him before the monarch's throne to stand. One eye, all seeing, saw the need of presence and planned to meet it through that one lone soul and through the, ooh, the weary days of prison bondage was working toward the great and glorious goal. As yet the end was hidden from the captive, the iron entered even into his soul. His eye could scan the present path of sorrow. Not yet his gaze might rest upon the whole. Faith failed not through those long, dark days of waiting. His trust in God was recompensed at last. The moment came when God led forth his servant to succor many all his sufferings past. It was not you but God that sent me thither. Witnessed triumphant faith in after days. Ooh, God meant it unto good. No second causes mingled their discord with his song of praise. God means it unto good for thee, beloved. The God of Joseph is the same today. His love permits affliction strange and bitter. His hand is guiding through the unknown way. Thy Lord who sees the end from the beginning hath purposes, oh honey, hath purposes for thee of love untold. Then thy, then place thy hand on his and follow Mommy. fearless. Mommy. Amazing, honey. Yeah. Till thou the richest of his grace behold. There, then thou standest, when thou standest in the home of glory, and all life's path lies open to thy gaze. Thine eyes, do you see what she's doing? This is so cute. She's spooning out the eggs. Good job, honey. <clears throat> Sorry. Then I and I shall see the hand which thou now trustest, and magnify his love through endless endless days. Frida Hanbury Allen. All right, I'm gonna go right into June 11. The servant of the Lord must be gentle. Second Timothy 2:24. When God conquers us and takes all the flint out of our nature, and we get deep visions into the spirit of Jesus. We then see, as never before, the great rarity of gentleness of spirit in this dark and unheavenly wor world. The graces of the spirit do not settle themselves down upon us by chance, and if we do not discern certain states of grace and choose them, <clears throat> and in our thoughts nourish them, they never become fastened in our nature or behavior. 
Every advance step in grace must be preceded by first apprehending it and then a prayerful resolve to have it. So if you are willing to undergo the suffering out of which thorough gentleness comes, we must die before we are turned into gentleness and crucifixion involves suffering. It is a real breaking and crushing of self which wrings the heart and conquers the mind. There's a good deal of mere mental and logical sanctification nowadays, which is only a religious fiction. It consists of mentally putting oneself on the altar, then mentally saying the altar sanctifies the gift, and then logically concluding, therefore, one is sanctified. And such a one goes forth with a little flippant theological prattle about the deep things of God. But the natural heartstrings have not been snapped, and the Adamic flint has not been ground to powder, and the bosom has not been th has not throbbed with the lonely, surging sighs of the Gethsemane. <clears throat> and not having the real death marks ca of cavalry, there cannot be that soft, sweet, gentle, flowing, victorious, triumphant life that flows like a spring morning from an empty tomb. G W G D W. And great grace was upon them all. Acts four thirty three. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to go right into June 12th now to finish this out because this video is getting pretty long. June 12th, in everything ye are enriched by him. 1 Corinthians 1, 5. Have you ever seen men and women who some disaster drove to a great act of prayer and by and by the disaster was forgotten but the sweetness of religion remained and warmed their souls? So have I seen a storm in later spring and all was black save where the lightning tore the cloud with thundering rent. The winds blew and the rain fell as though heaven had opened its windows. What a devastation there was. Not a spider's web that was out of doors escaped the storm which tore up even the strong branched oak. But ere long the lightning had gone by, the thunder was spent Woo! and silent. The rain was over. The western wind came up with its sweet breath. The clouds were chased away and the retreating storm threw a scarf of rainbows over her fair shoulders and resplendent neck. And looked back and smiled. No, honey, that's Eva's artwork. She's like fixed on it from earlier. Um, <clears throat> but for weeks long, the fields held their held up their hands full of ambrosial flowers, and all the summer through, the grass was greener, the brooks were fuller, and the trees cast a more umbrageous. Um, umbrageous shade because the storm had passed by though all the rest of the earth had long ago forgotten the storm its rainbows and its rain theodore parker god may not give us an easy journey to the promised land but he will give us a safe one bonar it was a storm that occasioned the discovery of the gold mines of india hath not a storm driven some to the discovery of the richer mines of the love of god in christ and then a poem by Lucy Larcom. Is it raining, little flower? Be glad of rain. Yes, too much sun would wither thee. Twill shine again. Nope, don't do that. The clouds are very black, tis true. Nope, don't do that. But just behind them shines the blue. Nope, no, no, no. You are not ready for art supplies. <laughs> Penny really likes these art supplies, but she is eating all the crayon tips. No, no, no. Um, so cute. The clouds are very black, tis true, but just behind them shines the blue. Art thou weary, tender heart, be glad of pain. In sorrow, sweetest virtues grow as flowers in rain. God watches and thou wilt have for sun when clouds their perfect worth have done. That's all I have today. I hope that you like the passages as much as I do and that they're helping you um, just kind of start the days like um, they are with mine. I, I definitely appreciate it um, and I like keeping in touch this way. YouTube is such a great platform for that. It's been really easy to just kind of set up this routine and like keep it going. Um, you know, I'm not really editing these. I'm not really like doing anything <laughs> to the videos and I hope that's okay I just hope the content shines through and that I get out of my own way as far as just being able to share this without yeah getting in the way um so I just hope that you know you like them and that if you want to keep in touch you like and subscribe so we can um you know keep giving you uh by we I mean me and I guess Penny um giving you these daily videos because I do want to try and get through the holidays 
having done it all the way to next February because I think I started it February like 28th or something like the end of that month um well I am going to try and enjoy the day now I've got this drink called a medicine ball from Starbucks that's my favorite I think it's the only user created drink that Starbucks ever added to like their menu um like some mom somewhere was like yes I want mint tea I want some citrus I want some honey and lemonade and it just it works it really makes me feel better when I'm just feeling a little bit um like I need something holistic and healing so I recommend it if you were looking for a non-caffeinated drink at Starbucks and it's pretty cheap they just charge you for like a tea essentially and so like a venti is like four bucks which I think a very very small like fancy drink would be <laughs> normally um all right well take care guys I'll see you tomorrow